As I mentioned just prior to Mass, the scripture readings for this Mass and, and some of our prayers are different than readings at other Masses this weekend because following my homily, we will be celebrating a liturgical rite called a scrutiny with Joshua Keenan, who is preparing to be baptized on Saturday, April 3rd at the Easter Vigil Mass. During the scrutiny, we will pray for Josh in a concerted way to heal what is weak, defective, or sinful in his soul and to strengthen all that is upright, strong, and good, hoping that this will deliver him from the power of sin and Satan, protect him from temptation, and fill him with the Spirit of Christ, the living water, who offers to all who drink of him the gift of eternal life, just as he offered eternal life to the Samaritan woman in the gospel passage from John that we just heard. As you may know, Samaritans were not well regarded by Jews at the time of Jesus. Samaritans were not 100% Israelite. Their ancestors, having intermarried with Assyrians and other people in that region of Samaria, north of Judah, north of Jerusalem, 35 miles or so. Worse even than that, though, the Samaritans, as we heard in the reading, they had their own religion, which the Jewish people regarded as a perversion of their own religion. So this was the source of the, the, the bitter conflict between Jews and Samaritans. Not only the, the Jews have a, a different religion, but it was a distortion of their own. So that was especially difficult for especially observant Jews. The Samaritans offered sacrifice to the same God as the Jews, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. However, the Samaritans offered it at their own temple on Mount Gerizim in Samaria rather than at the temple on Mount Moriah, 35 miles south in Jerusalem. For Jesus' Jewish disciples, speaking to this heretical Samaritan woman was not kosher, yet Jesus does so anyway. And while this willingness to speak with her could be considered rather progressive on the part of Jesus, Jesus is uncompromising in his conviction that she and her fellow Samaritans have it wrong when it comes to worship. Something, a sensibility that many, many of us have completely lost, that somebody could be wrong in religion, which is in fact what the church has taught forever. He's convinced that she is wrong, saying that salvation is from the Jews. Their conversation and the rest of the life of Jesus would reveal that not only does salvation come from the Jews, but salvation comes from the very Jew with whom the Samaritan woman is speaking. In this conversation, Jesus says to the woman, give me a drink. Give me a drink, which is, of course, reminiscent of one of the last words of Jesus from the cross, I thirst. Jesus thirsts for us to return our love for his love, but we must first receive his love through the waters of baptism so that we can worship him and the Father in spirit and in truth. That is, through the sacraments of the Catholic Church. These sacraments were born at great cost from the water and blood that flowed from the side of Jesus on the cross when he was pierced with the lance. The water of baptism and the blood of the Holy Eucharist. Josh 
uh, who I've had the pleasure of, of, of helping to prepare, he wants to get religion right. Everyone deserves to have the chance to get religion right. And if we don't believe that we have it right and are fearful to tell people that they don't, we don't give people a chance to get it right. But Josh wants to get it right. He wants to join us in spirit and truth and worship and receive the sacraments of the church. So now I invite Josh to come forward. He'll be standing here front and center. And Teresa and Justin will join him. They're helping him to prepare as well. <laughs> 